New details just into the newsroom on the brutal attack on Paul Pelosi. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Reed Cowan in for Ryan Yamamoto. So here's where we are in this story. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is about to see for herself how that assault on her husband all unfolded. Ann Makovic joins us from the newsroom with what we've just learned. Ann. Yeah, District Attorney Brooke Jenkins just confirmed that members of the Pelosi family were set to view the body cam footage from the police arrival at their home that night. That would include footage of the actual hammer strike that sent Paul Pelosi into skull surgery. He's still recovering this evening, and it's going to be some time before the public gets a look at that video. The DA says her job is to protect the state of the investigation. Revealing that evidence um, through the media is just not what we think is appropriate. We want to make sure that this individual is held accountable for these egregious acts. And so for us, we're going to make sure that we limit uh, the exposure of the evidence as much as possible. But we do have some new details about what happened that night. Court documents say David DePap stood over Paul Pelosi's bedside with a hammer and then woke him up asking, Are you Paul Pelosi and where's Nancy? Then She's number two from the presidency, right? And quote, we've got to take them all out. Eventually, DePap allowed Pelosi to use the bathroom, which is where he called 911. Then the two men walked downstairs, and the documents say when he realized police were on their way, DePap said, I can take you out. And the struggle for the hammer ensued. That is when police got there, instructing the men to drop it. Paul did, DePap did not, and the attack began. Now, what was going on in his mind as to why he did that, I can't speak to that. But what I what is very clear to me from viewing that body worn camera is he tried to kill Mr. Pelosi. This is a person who was willing to go to extreme lengths to plan out this attack, um, to, to figure out how to get in their house, um, and then to enact violence even in the presence of the police. And so we know that he presents a level of danger that's really, um, uh, you know, as high as it gets. But Jenkins says DePap has been cooperative with police and submitted to a lengthy interview before getting a lawyer. Meanwhile, Capitol Police are now looking into whether more could have been done to prevent the assault. They have access to 1,800 camera feeds that monitor the Capitol and other sensitive locations, including outside the Pelosi home. Capitol Police say they're actively monitored when Nancy Pelosi is home, but since she wasn't, they didn't realize something was wrong until an officer in the command center saw a police car in the driveway, and by that point, the confrontation was well underway. The Capitol PD has begun an internal security review, adding, quote, in the meantime, a significant change that will have an immediate impact will be for people across the country to lower the temperature on political rhetoric before it's too late. And taking a live look at San Francisco now, where Mayor London Breed is stepping up her own personal security in light of the attack and the general rise in threats against political figures. I've had um, a number of uh, death threats. I've had, um, you know, someone show up with protesters with a pitchfork in front of my home and, you know, others who have been very aggressive. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely concerned. Now, as for DeBapp, he pleaded not guilty at his arraignment yesterday. He is being held without bail ahead of his next hearing on Friday.